My journey in residential school is probably one no one has really heard much about because I didn't face the trauma, the violence, and all that negative stuff. Um, my memories of residential school are mostly positive because I was surrounded by um, classmates who basically became my family and supervisors and teachers who really were positive influences on me and really cared about my well-being and made sure that I had the tools I needed to be successful and that's that's something nobody has heard about and as a as a residential student from the I'm calling it the last generation of residential school survivors. Um, my generation, um, I got tired of always a, people apologizing for me when they ask me about high school because that, that's a question that always comes up. Like, where'd you, where did you graduate? And I'm like, Coppell Indian Residential School. And so it's always like, oh, I'm so sorry, but that. I always say, no, it was good. It was good. I didn't have that negative experience um, previous generations had, like my, my parents. And when I was in school, I had no idea of what my parents experienced. There was like little tiny snippets of stories that they shared with me, but nothing to the extent where I feared the school. When I went to school, it was just a place where I was... I had the chance to pursue my high school education and I thought it was important for me to release my project findings on Orange Shirt Day because although a lot of us don't like to say we're survivors because we didn't survive that trauma, but in a sense we are survivors because we are the products of the survivors.